Good morning, everyone. My name is Lissa Redeer, and I'm the President and CEO of Thrive Allen County, the economic development arm for Allen County. I am so excited to have all of you here today as we start a new chapter in Allen County's story. And it is such an honor to have our governor, Laura Kelly, here with us today, as well as our hometown superhero, uh, David Tolan, Secretary of Commerce. And then we have Representative Kent Thompson here as well. And so I am so grateful that they could all join us today and that you are all here with us today coming out in this fine fall weather that we are experiencing. Back in April, we received the news that Endurance would be closing their Iowa facility. And as if COVID-19 had not negatively impacted our community enough, this news really felt like a blow. But instead of looking at it as a negative, we decided to pivot and look for the positive. So that same day, my Economic Development Advisory Committee and I met, and we started to brainstorm opportunities. And as fate would have it, that same day as well, Josh Grenier and I ended up being on the phone, and he started to talk with me about the opportunities that Peerless was looking for for expansion of their product line. We both felt that it was serendipitous that we had that call when everything else was going on and it just felt like it was meant to be. And so from that moment on, the momentum and the excitement for this opportunity grew and with the unanimous support of the Allen County Commissioners, Bill King, Bruce Symes and Jerry Daniels, as well as Iola Mayor John Wells, Iola City Interim Administrator Corey Shinstock, each of the Iola City Council members, as well as the unwavering support of the Department of Commerce and my Economic Development Advisory Committee and Iola Industries, all of us together were able to bring this day to fruition. It is not every day that a community, a small rural community like Allen County gets to celebrate a big win. But I think you will all agree when Josh comes up here and shares his news with you, that this shines a bright light on the attractiveness and the strengths of our community and what we have to offer and why we are all so proud to call Allen County home. And with that, I would like to introduce you to Josh Grenier, who is the lead for this project. Do a little COVID protocol. Uh, thank you, Lisa. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and uh, accompanying me uh, is our owner, Bill Osborne, and uh, President Kobe Jones and we have several other peerless family members with us. Uh, I'd like to thank Allen County, uh, Thrive of Allen County, specifically Lissa. She's been with me every step of the way, so uh, to make this dream a reality. Uh, as well as the City of Iola, Allen County Commissioners, uh, Craig Van Way of Kansas Department of Commerce, and a special thank you to Governor Kelly and Secretary Tolman for making the trip uh, the opening for peerless new division the uh, commercial applications group, so appreciate that. Uh, Peerless is known for the architectural windows and doors, uh, but we developed a new, new uh, product line, and uh, we are prominent in the architectural business, but this new product line is more for the commercial side of things. And that's more of the, about 90% of what our window industry is. And uh, so we're gonna take our G800, which is pretty much a scaled down version, uh, more economical version of our uh, architectural windows. And uh, we feel that it can make us a big time player in that market. Uh, with its finite product line, we we're able to provide windows in mere days versus weeks. Uh, as I mentioned, the majority of the market around the country is this type of window. So the impact for our future of this facility, Peerless, as well as the community, it's overwhelmingly positive. Uh, conservatively, I believe we can create at least 20 to 25 new jobs each year over the next five years. But honestly, I expect to exceed those numbers 
given if the COVID kind of resides a little bit, we can, we can get back to business as usual. Uh, you know, as, as we become more prominent in the commercial business, we will create more jobs and hopefully we'll be able to grow the community. Uh, Peerless also promotes a healthy work and family life balance. Uh, many of you have heard me speak of some of the benefits Peerless has for its employees, which is your typical health insurance, your 401k, uh, but we have so much more to offer. Uh, we have a profit sharing program that we, we uh, share each month with, with the, each and every employee, uh, provided we make the, the profit that we, we, our goals set out to be. Uh, we also work, have worked with our local banks uh, to help employees secure a small loan, provided they have some financial needs and burdens uh, to help out with the, rather than going to your check and cash place that you know, interest rates are through the roof, you, you just dig a bigger hole, a you know, bigger hole. So uh, we feel like it's, it's a, our responsibility to help our employees out when we can. So we, we work with the banks and, and uh, if you're a peerless employee, then you're pre-approved automatically. So it's a, it's a very good benefit. Um, so being a Pierce employee, so those are just a couple of things that uh, our employees uh, benefit from and why we feel we, become, we can become the employer of choice in Iowa and the surrounding area. Uh, Peerless is not just focused on its employees though, we also focus on our surrounding communities. Each year we host uh, food and coat drives. And earlier this year in Fort Scott, Nevada, we hosted a food drive that donated nearly five, or over, I'm sorry, over 5,000 items to the local shelters. So it's a big win for us, a uh, big win for the shelter, uh, families that are in need. So we're very proud of stuff like that. Uh, we've also donated windows to various places such as church, schools, and even 4-H buildings. And speaking of the 4-H, we also participated in surrounding 4-H uh, uh, livestock auction. And we'll purchase livestock from each auction. Uh, we've done it in Allen County, uh, Crawford, Bourbon, Vernon, I mean, several. Lynn County, I can name a lot, I guess. But uh, we purchase those animals and then we, we process them and we give that meat to the employees each year. So just, just another little perk that we, we feel our employees deserve. Uh, and as you can see, you've, been through a little bit of the building. We're, we're already doing some you know, floor polishing, some painting and stuff like that. So we're making some internal uh, changes, but really the community doesn't get to see that. So instead of just covering up the old sign out front that we that had the Midland, Midland brace on it, we, uh, we ripped those suckers out. We, uh, we got plans of putting up a 15 foot LED sign. And I apologize, there's one over here that's not printed, but it was kind of an afterthought last night that I wanted to show, and we got some some colored pictures. But uh, pretty proud of this this marquee sign, and we wanted to wanted to let everybody know that that uh, Peerless is here in Iola. We're happy to be here. We're proud to be here, and we're here to stay. So with that. So with that, I'd like to thank uh, Jonathan M uh, Wells, Mayor of Iola. Uh, he came to visit us as well, but it's, it's his turn to speak. Once again, I'd like to be the first to formally welcome Peerless and Josh to Grenier to town. Um, let's give them one more round of applause. This is great news. This is a very good day for us. I would like to also thank all of the council uh, by name, Carl, Mark, Kim, Nick, Steve, Nancy, and Ron. Uh, this is as much you're doing. Uh, this is very much your event. Uh, I can't tell you the words that I appreciate you for supporting this and moving this forward. Um, as I thought about speaking today, I thought what a difficult year it's been. And I think we can all agree to that. Uh, but I think today is really indicative of the state motto. Ad Astra per Astra. And to the stars through difficulty. And we're getting to the stars through the difficult year. Allen County, Iola, state of Kansas, 
And how do we get to those stars? We do it together. We come together with the county, we come together with drive, we come together with the chamber, we come together with the state. And that's how Kansans overcome. That's how we deal with difficulty. Today, 2020 will be remembered for COVID, but in Iowa, it will also be remembered for years to come as the dear peerless came to town. And we wanna thank you for that. Without further ado, uh, I am here to introduce a man that needs no introduction in town. Uh, I also want to thank him. Uh, years ago, David came to me and said, you know, we're really missing something. The communication uh, seems to break down between the city and the county, between the, the county and Humboldt, the city and Moran. And he had an idea, and the idea was to get us all at the same table for economic development. And today, is really the fruits of the beginning of that conversation. Today, it wouldn't have happened without David Toland, and I can think of no one better to be the Secretary of Commerce for this state than our very own Iolman. Thank you, David. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mayor, uh, for those kind words, and it is such a joy to be home today uh, to celebrate this incredible announcement. As we were sitting here, I was thinking about the first time I was in this building. It was nine or 10 years ago, and it was just after Haldex had announced that they were moving all of their production from Iola to Monterey, Mexico, and shutting down this facility where they've been since 1974. And 170 people were gonna lose their jobs. And I remember seeing the faces of those people as I was walking through, as they continued to work up until the very end, uh, knowing that their jobs were, were disappearing. And it was, it was a dark time, a very difficult time. And so it is a lot better to be here today, even though I can't see your faces, I know you're smiling <laughs> underneath these masks, and to know that we've got things back on track. And uh, it, is, it is really, um, a big deal to have Peerless Products choose to expand in Kansas, in Iola, and, um, and to take this line and make it a reality. We know that you could have chosen to expand in any number of places, um, even there's a state about 50 miles to the east of us that we know was in competition, but for you to choose Kansas is incredibly important, so we thank you for this vote of confidence, I want to thank Bill Osborne, Cody Jones, for their belief in this community and in our state, and all of the hardworking folks that have made this possible on the Peerless team. And, you know, there are so many people in this room today who deserve our thanks and our congratulations. Um, I, I want to thank Craig Van Wy, who's over there. Um, so Craig has been the Southeast Kansas Regional Project Manager working with existing businesses in this region for 17 years. And two months ago, we promoted Craig to be the head of our in-state business development team. So he is over the entire state now, and he's doing a phenomenal job for us. And this is an example of the type of project that, that Craig has shepherded through. He's worked with Peerless for many years in Bourbon County, Fort Scott, and so we're grateful to you, Craig. Thank you very much. And, and I want to thank the local officials who are here today from the city, the county, Lissa and the team from Thrive. I know firsthand how difficult it is to make progress and to do the, the difficult things that are involved in growth. But um, it, is, it is worth it. And I hope that you feel that today. You know, our part of the state certainly has its share of challenges but without fail, the people of this community have risen to the occasion because you embrace collaboration, because you do relationship building, and you do what is truly best for the people of Iola and Allen County. And we're doing our part to support you from Topeka. Since Governor Kelly took office, the Kansas Department of Commerce has seen a 23% increase in the number of new jobs that we have generated in Southeast Kansas and we've seen a 40% increase in the um, amount of capital investment that we've seen in Southeast Kansas over the previous administration. Those are big numbers. It's under Governor Kelly's direction that we have rebuilt our state's economic development engine at the Department of Commerce 
and we are seeing the fruits of those labors today in spite of a pandemic, in spite of civil unrest, in spite of a global recession. And we're able to do this because Kansas has a new way of doing business, and it's, it's one that's evolved to meet both the needs of businesses and communities today and in the future. There's never been a greater need to be proactive and collaborative than right now. COVID-19 and the challenges that it brings are staggering, but the pandemic has also brought opportunities, and we are doing our best to capitalize on those opportunities by being nimble and moving at the speed of business and outworking and out-hustling other states. Peerless and other companies know the strategic advantages that come with being in the state of Kansas. Great schools, great infrastructure, a skilled up, ready to go workforce, and a central location that is perfect for logistics and distribution, as well as a quality of life that is second to none. But something that I'm particularly proud of is that the growth and the economic development that we've seen has come across the state. It's not just in a couple of regions. Just last week, we announced significant investments in Dodge City, in Garden City, um, and throughout Southwest Kansas. We had two massive announcements uh, about two weeks ago in uh, Park City and Kansas City, Kansas. Um, and I was looking at the numbers for Allen County. So in the last six months, there have been 300 new jobs that have been added in this county, in spite of the pandemic, in spite of all these challenges. And so with this strong momentum, we are closing in on $2 billion of new capital investment in the state this year alone, with much of that coming after the start of the pandemic. Last year, by comparison, in the whole year, we did 1.3. So we're at $2 billion, and we got two months to go. So we're just getting started, folks. So as many of you know, I took a new job last year but the work is very much the same. It's about growing our communities and our state for the next generation. I was honored to join Governor Kelly in her mission to make sure that our children and our grandchildren know that Kansas is the best state in the nation, period. That it's a state with far-reaching opportunities for young and old, and it's a state with its best years ahead of it. But get, getting the Kansas economy Moving again after a lost decade is no small task. Thankfully for Governor Kelly, for, for Kansas, Governor Kelly has the vision and the determination that it's taken to get our economic engine running again. I can tell you firsthand that the governor has been deeply engaged on economic development since day one of her administration, actually since before day one. And she is the deal closer, she is the person I call on the weekend and say, I need you to call this company on Sunday, or I need you to send this text. And she rolls up her sleeves and she does it. She is the person who was supposed to fly here this morning, but couldn't because of the ice, but came anyway because she believes in the importance of economic development and thanking Peerless for its investment. So she's always been known as our education governor, and that is right because nobody fights harder for kids and families than Laura Kelly. But as Secretary of Commerce, I've chosen to refer to her by a different name, and that is our Economic Development Governor. We could not have better leadership during this critical time in our state than what we have from our governor, Laura Kelly. Please welcome her. David, last time uh, he was so nice to me that uh, this does not going to impact his performance review. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do thank you very, very much, David. It is really fun to be here uh, in your hometown. And good morning to everybody else. Uh, it, it, it really is good to be here in Iowa because it's David's hometown, but also because of this incredible announcement. Day. Uh, this impacts not only Iowa, but the entire southeast region of Kansas, and really our entire state. Uh, first, I want to thank Josh. 
Um, you know, actually, as you were speaking, I was thinking, I wouldn't mind working for you. <laughs> it sounds like a pretty good place to be. Uh, but I want to thank you, Fearless, uh, the whole team, for choosing Allen County uh, to expand your footprint uh, and to invest in this new addition to your mine. Peerless is a fantastic, homegrown Kansas company with a long history in Fort Scott. I appreciate your leadership team recognizing uh, what this region has to offer and for the contributions you've made to this area for the last 68 years. I also want to give special thanks and recognition to Lisa with uh, Thrive Allen County and to the mayor, Don Wells, for their hard work in making today possible. Uh, as we all know, Iowa and Allen County blossom with potential. Uh, through Thrive Allen County's holistic approach uh, to improving physical and physical health, people like Lisa, Mayor Wills, and many other dedicated community members have successfully harvested this potential, which is evident in today's celebration of the most significant jobs announcement in this county since 1994. The economic success in this region is a testament to what we can accomplish when we support a robust portfolio of services that make Kansas the best state, period. When I took office, my administration immediately implemented the common sense fiscal practices that have allowed us to rebuild our state's foundation and reinvest in four key areas, education, infrastructure, economic development, and healthcare. We know that to attract new companies, we need good roads and broadband access, a strong pipeline of skilled workers and healthy communities. There is no doubt that our focus on the fundamentals of economic growth is paying off. Today's event is just one in a series of business developments we have announced over the last several months. Peerless is joining the ranks of projects like Urban Outfitters, whose new distribution center is creating 2,000 jobs in Wyandotte County. Schwann's company, which is expanding its Salina facility and creating 225 new jobs. In Evergy's Grain Belt Express Line, which will support over 22,500 jobs during the construction phase and nearly 1,000 full-time permanent jobs when construction is complete. The University of Kansas Bioscience and Technology Business Center and Innovation Park, which, when complete, will bring 2,700 high-paying jobs to Lawrence, Kansas. And then Amazon, whose two new distribution facilities will create over 1,000 full-time jobs in Park City and in Kansas City, Kansas. I could keep going, uh, but in the interest of time, I will say that as you can all see, Kansas is on the path to economic prosperity and historic job growth. As we heard from Secretary Tolan, soon we will surpass $3 billion in total capital investment since I took office with $2 billion in 2020 alone. This is a huge accomplishment, but we won't rest on our laurels. With our engaged team at the Department of Commerce, my administration will continue to identify new and dynamic business opportunities and relationships and support further economic development projects like this one in Allen County and all across our state. Before I go, I want to commend all the local officials for their ongoing efforts to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 and keep Iowans and Allen Countyans safe. When COVID-19 began spreading through our communities, Allen County officials took steps right away to protect the, their constituents' health and safety, including the decision to follow my mask mandate and other public health guidelines. Masks, along with social, avoiding social gatherings, practicing proper hygiene, and social distancing remain one of the best tools we have to protect Kansans and keep our schools and our businesses open. Because of this smart and conscientious approach, Allen is one of only three counties in Kansas currently in the school green zone for our state's school reopening guide. I commend them for their efforts and for setting an important example for the rest of the state. Masks work. 
I'm confident that going forward, Allen County and Iola will maintain these efforts to keep residents healthy, which will in turn boost local economic activity, bring in new businesses, and improve the lives of all people in this region. My administration is proud to partner with this community and communities across the state to promote these initiatives, create jobs, and spur economic growth. And with that, we're gonna cut a ribbon. I'm excited to cut the ribbon. Thank you all.